All right, uh, this tutorial is for two groups of people. People who suck at pointer scanning, which is most of you, and then another group of people who think that pointer scanning is stupid and that you should use uh, the traditional method of using find what accesses to find your pointers. And that's great. Uh, pointer scanning is no substitute for doing that. You need to learn that. But uh, in a lot of these new games, finding pointers uh, can be a real bitch. So using pointer scanner, uh, can make that a lot easier for you. So there's two different methods. Uh, traditional pointer scanning method, uh, which is going to utilize one pointer map, and then there's a second method where you can use multiple pointer maps. Now the traditional method uh, is what you had to use before Darkbyte put pointer maps in, and uh, doing this basically now you create a pointer map, you, uh, you do a few things to filter down your results, and it takes a while. First you get 36,000, then 32,000, then 2,000, and eventually, uh, in this game, I get it down to about 118. And uh, these results are inaccurate, slow, and the whole process is quite annoying. And so, when we're doing an advanced pointer scanner, which I'll show you in the second part of this video, uh, using multiple pointer maps, um, it's basically just, you have just follow these little tips right here, and then you get instant... 40 results uh, like a boss. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So first, we're just going to do a traditional pointer scan and uh, and just show you that. So uh, this is Divine Divinity Original Sin, uh, just a game I picked. So first, uh, we have our health variable. That's what we're going to be looking for. I already have a pointer here just to make my life easier for the tutorial. Uh, so if you need to find out how to find variables, watch some other cheat engine tutorials. That's not what this one's about. So the health address is 26A65FF5D84. We're just going to add that in here, and we're going to call it uh, health pointer map 1. And you'll see why we're doing that in the future. And that's the health of this dude right here, also called vitality. So first thing you'll do is right-click and click and do a pointer scan. Now, if you just do a pointer scan without generating a pointer map first, uh, every subsequent pointer scan you do uh, for other variables, you're, it's going to automatically generate a pointer map, and you're not going to be able to use that. It's just like intrinsic into how the pointer scan now works in Sheet Engine. So, and that's stupid. So, generating the pointer map takes about 45 seconds. So, we're going to generate the pointer map first, and we're going to use it for all of our subsequent scans. We're just going to call it pointer map one. And so this takes about 45 seconds for this game. I think I'm supposed to be uh, drinking tea right now, like Fleep did. I'm not sure. If you want tea drinking, let me know in the comments. When the, pointer, uh, when the pointer map generation gets to the end here, you have to be patient. The progress bar is going to complete. Then it's going to do this little like 5% shit right here and just wait for the screen to disappear. And that's when you know that the pointer map's complete. Give it another second here. Now we're good. So uh, we generated our pointer map and we want to define our last offset. And so what is the offset of the health variable? You should all know how to do this. You do find out what accesses this address. We can already see. Uh, offset 12C is being used by two instructions to access that character's health. Just to be sure, we're going to heal this guy, and we're going to see what the other instructions use. Yeah, they're all using offset 12C, so that's easy. Done. And so we're going to right-click here, pointer scan for this address. We're going to use a save pointer map and select pointer map 1. And we are going to uh, define the last offset, which is 12C. And all the other, you're just going to use default settings here, uh, and it works fine for me 90% of the time. Now you're going to see it's using the pointer map rather than scanning every single address from scratch, which is where the huge time saving comes in. All right, so we got uh, about 2,000 results. Now that was using... Uh, a pointer map and the last offset. If we hadn't done that, we would have got 36,000. So we're instantly down to 2,000, which is pretty good. Now at this point, um, you see all these columns here. You can sort them. 
and you'll see that the base address uses it will show you that there's some thread stack based which uh, every thread of the process has its own stack so these are pointers that originate in that stack which you know those are totally not static so don't use those here we have some osiris module which we don't know what it does we can scroll down and sometimes there's others here but we don't want those so we can do another thing here we can rescan for memory and we can use a base pointer range so in this game all the game logic happens in the main executable module here in other games like counter-strike you're looking for pointers from client dll server dll etc in this game just via some light reversing i know that all the logic occurs there so i know where i want to look so we can define a base range and just a little tip for you you can actually uh, put some cheat engine scripting right into the cheat table here so we want to find the base address of the module okay and to do that we're going to use this little function here get address and then add in the the name of the executable and we now have the beginning the base address of the module and let me just show you right here there's actually a we want to get the end of the module which is going to be uh, get module size and the same thing in here and so here we have the base address and here we have the end address of the module so we can copy and paste that in here end of module and now we can uh, rescan and filter using a base uh, pointer address range so it's 7ff7a67d000 and the end address uh, is 7ff7a7cef000 so by using that in a rescan uh, it's weird it doesn't like this for some reason oh so it wants my address so instead of doing address let's just start using value right now we know it's health 620 why should we have to type that stupid address out and that's going to be very helpful in subsequent scans as well so now we see uh, that the base address all are from the correct module so that's awesome so now your next step is to close the game we're just going to close it completely are you sure you want to quit yes and but keep the pointer scan up so now in the we want to automatically open up this process every time we open it so to do that go to edit settings and you'll see automatically attached to process and then i've dumped in all the processes uh that i commonly hack here and you separate them by semicolons so now when we open it it'll automatically let's load the game here now for the sake of the tutorial i'm just going to use this pointer i saved in here you all know how to find health addresses i hope um so in this in this part of the game i have 200 health so we're going to do rescan memory and before you would have had to find the address now at this point by using value you don't actually have to find the address of the variable you can just look at your gui and see he's got 200 health so for subsequent scans it's going to be really fast and sweet and you do need to disable this now because the basic pointer may not be in the same range now uh, in case that executable loaded into a different address range. Rescan, yes. And so we got like roughly half of the results this time. And then so you'll just keep repeating this. So we know his health is uh, 200 again. So point of scan, rescan 200, click, okay, save. And uh, so it's basically, it's chilling here at 933 results. So you can just keep doing that and doing that and eventually you'll get down to about 118 results. Again, this is inaccurate, slow, and annoying. But that's how you do it the traditional way. Now I'm gonna show you uh, how to do it using two pointer maps. So we can exit out of that pointer scan. All right, so we don't need these two guys here. So that was our health from pointer map one. So this address is the address from the original execution of the game with the original pointer map. Now what we're going to do is going to add the new address and for the sake of the tutorial I'm just going to grab it from the pointer I already have and we're going to call this health pointer map 2. So now we're going to use two pointer maps and it's going to be way faster. So we now want to generate a new pointer map. Call it pointer map 2.
All right, pointer map generation complete. And now we're going to right click it and do pointer scan. We're going to use the save pointer map and we're going to use pointer map two. So this use save pointer map is the pointer map from the current execution of the process. And we want to compare the results against the save pointer map. We're going to select the original pointer map and then it's going to want the address of the old health variable. And you click right here and you'll see health pointer map one. That's where uh, writing it in here is helpful uh, to have like a naming convention. And we have our 12C, last offset, click OK. And you'll see it's going to scan and compare against both pointer maps. And it's going to do this rather than searching the current data set of the memory of the process, which is way faster. Because those pointer maps already have a database of things that are only pointers, rather than scanning every single address. Wow, so look at this, four pointers. So my my last uh, my last scan, I got 40 results the last time I did this. And now we got four, that's, that's actually amazing. Um, pretty sweet. So that's the end of the tutorial. Just to recap, um, there's two ways to do it. You know, the traditional way with one pointer map, which is what I use most of the time with the as the games are getting bigger and bigger and more annoying uh, to find pointers, I'll probably be uh, using the multiple pointer maps. Uh, hope you like the tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Post links to guard attacking everywhere. If you're still watching. I want to plug a few of our friends real quick. If you if you need more cheat engine tutorials, check out Cheat the Game. If you need to purchase any Rust accounts, Counter Strike accounts, talk to my man Akandesh. If you're uh, looking for a cool CS:GO hack, check out Legacy Aim. And if you're looking for all sorts of hacks for all different games, including Assault Cube, badass, uh, and Genoning's uh, where you want to be. All right, guys, peace.